Hello everyone, my name is Dheeraj Poorkar. I am application engineer at Best Engineering Aids and Consultancies Private Limited. And this video is all about a smart way of creating animation using scenario feature in SolidWorks Composer. So before I jump to the SolidWorks Composer interface, let me just uh, tell you what is a SolidWorks Composer is. It's not only a 3D animation uh, tool, it's a tool to create a nice graphical contain like 2d and 3d images for your technical documentation uh, such as assembly instructions customer service procedure user manual training material field service repair manual you name it any any technical documentation you create for your uh, during your product life cycle uh, you can create a nice high resolution graphical content for your technical documentation okay so i hope you get the idea of what solid work composer is now i'll just jump to the solid work composer interface okay so this is what it is uh, i'll just open one assembly so for that maybe i'll just what we have here is uh, recently opened some files so i'll just open one of it and directly go to the animation mode okay so before i start making an animation i just wanted to show you that in the sub assemblies what we have here is a stack one uh, sorry stack two uh, assembly as well as a stack one assembly which has the same uh, number of actors in it so if you uh, see here a lock washer one a lock washer one are in the both uh, the actors are in the both sub assemblies also the front shock washer the front shock washer mount bolt and mount bolt so basically what we are going to do is to animate uh, some of the uh, the actors in the stock two uh, sub assembly and import this animation on the stack one or basically what we uh, normally do is uh, animate these number of actors and then animate the same animation uh, for these number of actors but what we uh, the smart way of doing the animation is to just import this animation uh, of stack one stock two to the stack one so how we want to do that let's see that before that we need to animate these number of actors I am taking this small example here. So let's just uh, start it, start the animation. What I what I'll do, I'll uh, place the timeline at 1.5 second and zoom into this particular area, right? And place the camera key. So it will zoom uh, from 0 to 1.5 to this particular area. Next is grab the mount bolt and place the uh, location key move to the next and in the transform tab what we have is a rotate so I'll rotate it by around 160 degree also I'll translate it just beyond, just outside the uh, the assembly so the during the thread and the it translate uh, to the thread length uh, while rotating. I'll keep the uh, time length to the 3.5 second and move along over here. Right? So if I see uh, it zooming to this area till the 1.5, then it's rotating and coming out and it's moving all the way over there next is the lock washer i'll select the lock washer uh, place this uh, location key move the time bar to 4.5 and take it out next is the shaft washer i'll again repeat the same process set the location key move the time bar and place the uh, new location of that washer right 
so i have created a nice animation for these three uh, number of actors right so i know that uh, that these uh, actors are on the other side as well so what i'll do i need to uh, eventually i just uh, animate these actors as same as uh, the earlier one but what we can do is uh, we can create a, a nice animation by smart moves so for that first i'll just place the camera key here and move the timer to 7 by 7 second and rotate uh, the assembly and place the camera key over here right so it will uh, show the uh, stack one sub assembly so what i will do is to go to the stack two in this assembly tab right click on it and in the scenario say export branch scenario so uh, let's just create a, on the desktop let's say create another folder saying smart any animation right and we save this file as dot smg sce that is a scenario format of composer and still we'll see the say stack and save it right so let's go to the desktop and see whether it is saved or not in the smart animation folder on the desktop it is dot uh, smg sce it is actually a notepad uh, format so i'll just open it in the notepad and uh, replace say replace uh, stack two with stack one right say replace all and close what what, what i have done is the name of the uh, stack Two is replaced with the name of this tag one in the notepad and just save it save and close okay so what next we need to do is to go to the stack one and right click on it say scenario apply scenario to node and select the same dot smjse file and say open as soon as I do that, you can see here the location key has been uh, placed automatically. So if I play, uh, start the animation from 7 second, you can see that these number of actor is automatically uh, animated. So this way you can create an animation uh, if you have uh, a few set of actors on the left hand side you want to animate the same thing on the uh, right hand side so you can uh, save this animation as a scenario file and import uh, on the apply on the other side of um, set of actors right so hope uh, uh, so let's just uh, play this animation overall and we'll see so it looks fine right it goes to the other side and animate on the other side as well so I hope you like the uh, animation. Thank you so much. You can contact me on my mobile number and email ID as well. Thank you.